from August, we will be moving to what Blackboard calls the ultra base navigation. This won't affect the way your courses operate, but it will change the way in which you access those courses and certain other tools within Blackboard. When you first log into Blackboard, you will be shown the activity stream. As you can see, this is a very different look to the way Blackboard appears at present. There are no longer any tabs along the top. The navigation is on the black menu on the side. The activity stream shows various types of notifications. You will see system announcements and announcements from courses and organisations on which you are enrolled. You and your students will be shown notifications that new content has been added to courses and you will also be shown courses which have work ready to mark. You can edit the notifications you receive from the settings icon in the top right hand corner of this screen. As you can see there's quite a lot of granularity in the type of notification that you can choose to receive. We will now look at the other parts of the Blackboard menu. What Blackboard refers to as the institution page we have rebranded as help. This is where both you and your students will be able to find links to our Blackboard help pages, to the service desk to log tickets, and to various other central university services. We are able to customise what appears on this page based on the role that you have within the system, so we may well display different content to staff and to students. Next we have the profile page. Here you are able to upload a custom image and once again you are able to edit your notification settings. The way courses display has also changed. Because we retain Blackboard courses for several years, all the courses which you still have access to will be listed under current courses, but you can filter this by academic year. And then you can filter it further to show courses I teach, that is to say courses on which you are an instructor. And you can search your courses as well. And then you can add your courses to your favourites so that they always appear at the top of the list. You can also change the way in which courses are displayed. Click on this icon to show your courses as tiles. You'll see that where a course has a banner, this will be displayed here. If your course does not have a banner, then Blackboard will insert an image for you. If you wish to, you can upload your own banner image. From here you can also hide the course, but this only hides the course from you, not from other users. And you can also make a course private. That's the terminology used on this page for making a course unavailable. And of course, from the same settings, you can then open the course up so that it is available to students. When you go into a course, you'll see that it displays in very much the same way as courses display now. The only real difference being that it overlays the main navigation. And you can return to the navigation by clicking here. Organisations displayed in a very similar way to courses. Next, we move on to the calendar. There's no real change of functionality here, but it is a lot more prominent to students. Due dates appear here, although it's worth stressing that students should not rely on the Blackboard calendar for their due dates and should always check this in the course itself. Messages is another tool which is a lot more prominent now. We recommend that rather than using messages, you continue to use email and Blackboard announcements for communications with your students. The mark section will appear differently to students and staff. For students, this is where they will see the marks and feedback from their courses. For staff, it provides a quick way to get into the grade centre of your course. Once into the grade centre, you'll see that it operates in exactly the same way as it does currently. Tools is where you will now find the content collection, which is where you can access files that have been uploaded to your course. You'll also see portfolios listed on this screen, so are any modules where you're asking students to complete Blackboard portfolios, this is where they will go to access them. Once you've finished using Blackboard, 
you can sign out here.